What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today we're just going to use the extensions Curveloft and Lattice Maker to kind of mess around with creating some uh, curtain walls, some glazing, that sort of thing, and we'll just kind of see what we come up with. Um, before I get started, I do want to thank all my supporters on Patreon. Uh, you guys are what make this channel possible, and uh, I really appreciate the fact that you want to uh, support the show. So now let's just jump into this thing. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to talk a little bit about a few ways to create some kind of lattice shapes and structures, and uh, also just how our geometry kind of affects all of that. So um, what I want to do is I want to start off, and you're going to want to have a couple extensions installed on your computer, and uh, I'll link to all these in the notes below. But um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the extension Curveloft to create some faces. I'm going to have the extension Lattice Maker, which I believe is by TIG, um, installed. And then I may do a little bit with pipe along path and uh, arc circles, lines to cylinders as well. So um, the first thing I'm going to start off with, this is something I talked about a little bit last week, is uh, you can use Curveloft to create your surfaces. So like for example, if I come in here and I create, we'll call it a 24 sided circle right now. And we could probably do this with a 12 sided circle, but it doesn't matter that much. So I'm going to start off and I'm just going to draw a circle. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arc from the edge of the circle to the center of the circle. And then I'm going to draw kind of the bulge right here to whatever height that I want, um, whatever looks good. So once you got your arc drawn, you're going to use the rotate tool in copy mode to make a copy of this. So I just uh, activated the rotate tool, or I clicked on this object, activated the rotate tool, tapped the control key to turn copy mode, and then I'm just going to make a copy. And you can see how this is a 24 sided circle. I'm actually going to skip this center piece and I'm going to move this over here or I'm gonna skip this center piece and move this over here. So you can see how now what I have is I have two arcing lines separated by two segments along the edge going to the center of my circle. Well now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these objects. So I'm gonna just gonna do a shift click on the three of these. And then I'm gonna use the extension Curveloft to create a face. So I'm gonna use the skinning tool to create a skin across this. And all I did is I just selected those three lines and I just activated the skinning tool. And now I'm going to click anywhere to finalize my shape. And you can see what this does is this comes in here and this fills out this fills out the inside of the shape with a face. And you can see how it's kind of uh, dividing equally along these segments in order to do that. So now I have a face along here. And so let's just inspect that for just a second. Because you can see if you turn on hidden geometry, what it did is it basically drew hidden geometry in here because each one of these is an individual face. And so what we're going to be able to do now that we know that is we can use extensions like Lattice Maker to come in here and create lattices and other things along this shape. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a component because I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to click on it once, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a component. And in this case we'll just call it component one. Um, you know, usually I would keep that more organized, but for what we're doing right now, we don't really need to do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the rotate tool in copy mode to copy this all the way around here so I have a complete circle. So I'm just going to activate the rotate tool, come out here and click on this corner, and tap the control key, and then rotate that over until this corner matches up with this corner. I'm going to click. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to type in times 11 and hit the enter key. What that did is that created 11 copies of this object. And so now you can see that I've got this full lattice-y shape in here. And now there's a couple different options for what we can do. So we can use the extension Lattice Maker to fill this in with uh, kind of rectangular lattice shapes. Or we could come in here and do it with more round pipes with pipe along path. So I'll show you both options. So I'm going to go ahead and delete out my default model, but I'm just going to select this make a copy using the move tool and move it over here. I'm also going to save my model. All right, so now I've got a copy over here and I've got a copy over here. Well, what I want to do is I want to make all of these unique because if you remember, if you remember, we made these components. So now if I edit something in here, like if I was to like change one of these segments or something like that, or if I was to fill it in with a material, you can see how all of these changed because they're copies of the same component. Well, what we're going to do 
is we're going to take the faces in this one, we're going to select them, we're going to right click, and we're going to click Make Unique. And so now these are all copies of a single component, and these are all copies of a different component. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with Lattice Maker, and we're going to add a lattice. And something's going to go wrong with it, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So we're going to start off, and we'll just uh, we're going to activate Lattice Maker. So you're just going to go up to Extensions, Lattice Maker. And you've got a bunch of different options in here. I'm going to leave it on the defaults for right now because we're probably going to undo this and come back and change it. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what that's going to do is nothing, apparently. There we go. So you can see how, first of all, these came in here way too big. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the size of our lattice. So in this case, I'm going to make my lattice, we'll call it, we'll call it a half inch by a half inch for right now. We'll say our paint inset is a quarter inch. And we'll click OK. We may need to make this a little bit bigger, but for now it's fine. You can see how what that did is that came in here and that basically did a one inch offset and then a one inch push pull inward, creating this lattice on every one of these hidden faces. And you can see how it didn't create a face in here for glass or anything like that. So we're gonna wanna fix that. We're also going to want to come in here, and if I click off of this and I delete this centerpiece, you can see how once I get to a certain point in here, this kind of starts overlapping and it doesn't look as good. It creates kind of some weird results. So we're also going to come in here and we're going to cut off our lattice right here so that we don't get these weird results anymore. So I'm going to undo. I'm going to come back in here and we're gonna fix this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show our hidden geometry so that we can see what we need to delete out of here. Because if you remember, it was basically these last two lines that weren't very good. And so what we wanna do is we just wanna take these two lines, we wanna do a shift click, and remember hidden geometry is on, and we just wanna turn soft off. And you can see how as soon as soften is off, now this is an actual line in here. Well now I can come in here and I can delete out these extra pieces. So except right here, because you can see those are my original pieces. So now I've got this kind of hole in here. And then I'm gonna turn hidden geometry to off. And so now, just real quick, if I select this face, turn on Lattice Maker, we're gonna have to reset all of these again. And hit enter. Now you can see I've got this nice kind of edge around the center instead of stuff that's all kind of overlapped and that sort of thing. But what I don't like about this is we still didn't create any kind of glass material in here. So this is just like kind of a, an open lattice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust that and give it a material. So you can see how you can set your lattice material and your pane material. So in this case, I'm gonna click on this drop down and I'm gonna select glass. So that's basically telling it that I want it to go in there and add a glass material. And so the other thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to change our pane inset, but we're also gonna have to change our thickness because our inset is the same as our thickness. So in this case, I'm gonna change this to an eighth of an inch and hit okay. And you can see how now what that does is that comes in here and that creates this full lattice along this face with glass in it and everything else. And you can see how it actually has a thickness in here. And you may be able to set that thickness to zero. I'm not really sure. But it's basically created an entire lattice in here with glass and glazing just like that. So that's one way to do this. And Lattice Maker is kind of the fast way to do that. But I actually like the result a bit better if we do it with pipes. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over to our second option. And we're going to do this with pipes. And actually, there's another extension you're going to want called uh, Selection Toys. So that's an extension by TomTom. Tom, and I always have that running in the background because it's so helpful. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to triple click to select this whole thing. Well, all I want, and actually you don't even need to do this yet. So you can turn hidden geometry off. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to select everything. And then I'm going to do a shift click to unselect this face. Well, now what I want to do is I want to use the extension pipe along path in order to create a pipe. And so you're going to go to extensions, pipe along path. 
and we'll do the same thing. We'll set our outside diameter to 0.5 and the rest of this looks okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And you can see how what that did is that actually created a pipe along this entire perimeter. So now I've got kind of this whole edge in here as a pipe. And I like the way that looks a little bit better than the rectangles over here, but some of that's a preference thing. But you can see how I'm having a similar problem right here where these overlap and they don't look very good. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before on the other one, where we're gonna turn on hidden geometry. We're gonna unhide these and we're just gonna delete this other stuff out. So you can see how now I've got this whole edge around here. And we may have to go one higher, but we'll try this for right now. So turn hidden geometry back off, select everything, deselect your center face by doing a shift click, and then we'll run pipe along path at a half inch. So now you can see how instead of getting that weird overlap, what you've got is you've got an actual pipe along this edge. And so if you wanted to, you could actually take this and just apply a glass material to it. But what I want to do before that is I want to add pipes on this interior. So in order to do that, we're going to turn our hidden geometry back on. I'm going to do a triple click to select everything. And then I'm going to use the extension selection toys to deselect the faces. So I'm going to triple click to select everything. I'm going to right click and go to deselect and I'm gonna click faces. So now all this has in here is the edges. So your faces aren't selected anymore. And then I'm gonna use this extension I downloaded, and I think I got this one from Sketchication called Arcs and Lines to Cylinders. And I'm just gonna use that to add half inch pipes along all of these lines. So you can see how now I've created tubes along this whole face. And what I like about this is if you compare this one, you can turn hidden geometry back off. If you compare this one to what's created with Lattice Maker, I find this one to be a lot more organic and a little bit better looking. So, and then you can just come in here and you can just click this face because it's a continuous face. And then you can apply a glass material to it. So now this is in here as glass as well. So if I delete this out, I can delete out these extra lines and then you can see how I've got this much smoother more organic lattice shape in here so that's a couple ways that you can do this with these um, these kind of arcing pieces and you can do this with any kind of face that you create with curve aloft and then um, so once once you kind of get this down once you get an idea how all these faces work you can actually do a lot of really fun stuff so for example if I come in here and at this point, I'm just kind of playing around seeing what I can create. But if I come in here and I just make a giant rectangular box, like this, now that I understand that Lattice Maker is coming in here and just doing an offset based on these faces, well, what you can do is you can draw things like random angles. So I can just come in here, draw a bunch of lines at kind of random angles, which you've probably seen buildings like this in the past, but you can come in here and you can just model this sort of thing with some kind of random lines. You can select this face and let's leave it as is for right now. We'll give it a glass pane. We'll hit okay. We'll see what it comes up with. So that mostly worked um, probably because this isn't actually a very big face, so probably what I'll do is come back in here and just make these a little bit smaller, add a glass material, and there we go. So you can see what it does is it offsets based off these center pieces, and then it adds the glass in here. So you could do this with all these different kinds of edges. So you could do that all across this face over here there may actually be an extension that'll create random lines across a face like this I'm not really sure um, you know at this point I'm just kind of having fun messing around with this a little bit but so you can do the same thing over here 
And what you might want to do is hide this because you can see how I was bringing these edges to the wrong edge. So I'm just going to extend these all the way across real quick. And then we'll just do the same thing. So Lattice Maker, we'll bring these down to an inch. We'll add a glass pane and we'll hit OK. And you probably need to be a little bit careful with how these edges overlap. I think it actually looks okay in this case. But see how you can use random lattices and that sort of thing to create some really interesting shapes. And again, once you kind of get an idea of how the, um, how the geometry works in SketchUp, how the hidden faces work and everything else, then uh, you, you can really start getting creative and that sort of thing. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this? Does this give you some cool ideas for things to model? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon on. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.